This video is about the oxidation reactions of alcohols. So we'll start off by establishing what this symbol here means. This O in square brackets stands for the oxidizing agent. So the oxidizing agent that's going to oxidize our alcohols is the dichromate ion. Now was, there's a couple of sources of this. So in, in the lab we would either use potassium dichromate or we could use sodium dichromate. You can see both of those contain this dichromate ion. So these could be used as the oxidizing agent. The conditions, well it has to take place with heat and the dichromate ions must be in acidified conditions. The best way to think about the oxidizing agent, if you just remember one example and the one that I always remember is the potassium dichromate. So if we write it like this, this H plus here stands for those acidified conditions. So the oxidizing agent for the oxidation of alcohols is acidified potassium dichromate. And I've deliberately used the orange pen because this chemical is orange. So we're going to look at primary alcohols first. Remember that's when the hydroxyl carbon is directly bonded to one carbon. So that's the case in this alcohol. Three carbons, OH group on the end, so this is proton 1 all. Here's our oxidizing agent, it's the acidified potassium dichromate. Heat this up and we would form our first oxidation product would be this molecule here. So if we have a look at the functional group on the end there, we have a C double bondo and also bonded to this carbon is a hydrogen. So this is called prop anal and this is an example of an aldehyde. So propanal would be produced by the oxidation of propanol. You can see also that we've produced a water molecule as well. There's the chemical equation for this reaction. And the way we write aldehydes, the functional group is shown in the structural formula as CHO, CHO. So whenever you see that, you know that this is an aldehyde. So if we look at it in very general terms, you can see I've underlined the CH3, CH2 part of proton 1 all in green, and I'm calling that my R group. You often see generalized um, versions of organic equations written like this. Um, so you know that you can see this is the only bit that's changing. So the R group is this ethyl group here. And the CH2OH part is the primary alcohol part. There's the oxidizing agent. The R remains intact. So you can see there CH3, CH2 still as it was before. But the primary alcohol part, look, that's changed to CHO. And, and there's the water. There's the displayed formula for propanol. So we show the C double bond O and the H drawn like that. We splay them out like this because effectively we've got one, two, three pairs of electrons all repelling each other. So we have this trigonal planar arrangement, 120 degrees, which you can see in the model kit there. So this is the displayed formula of propanol. And there's the skeletal formula. So CH3, CH2, Here's the carbon at the end there with the double bonded oxygen and we don't show hydrogens in skeletal formulae unless they're in OH hydrogen and so there's the skeletal formula of propanol. Now we're still on with primary alcohols at the moment so we've just made propanol by the first oxidation reaction you've just seen there. Now the thing you need to know is aldehydes can be oxidized further and so we're going to again represent the oxidizing agent in this form. 
So we're going to oxidise propanol with some more acidified potassium dichromate with some heat and we'll have a look at what's formed. So there's the product of this reaction. So essentially we've this oxygen has become part of this molecule and we've created this organic molecule with a different functional group. We've got a C double bond O, single bond O with an H directly attached to it. This is a carboxylic acid and this is called propanoic acid. So that's an example of a carboxylic acid. There's the chemical equation in structural formulae, so propanol, CHO, plus the oxidizing agent becomes CH3, CH2, and this is how we write the functional group of carboxylic acids, COOH. It's not written as CO2H generally because it's more difficult to see that it's a carboxylic acid, so we show both of the O's and you get this cool bit at the end of the molecule and that represents a carboxylic acid. Now notice there's no water produced in this oxidation. So water is only produced in the first oxidation. That was the oxidation from the alcohol to the aldehyde. And just like before, we've got the general form of this equation. So the green underlined part is the bit of the molecule that doesn't change. So this R group represents this CH3CH2 group and you can see that the only thing that's changed is the CHO part has turned into COOH. The R group has remained exactly the same. And again there's the displayed formula of the propanoic acid and there's the skeletal formula CH3CH2C double bond O single bond OH. We're going to move on to secondary alcohols now. So we've got this secondary alcohol here with four carbons and the hydroxyl group on carbon number two. So this is butan 2 all. Same oxidizing agent as before, so that's acidified potassium dichromate and we would heat this up and if you can have a look at the products there there's one similarity we've made some water the organic product the carbon containing product is a bit different now we've formed this C double bond O on this carbon here so this is the carbon that had the OH on we've formed the C double bond O on that carbon there so this is not an aldehyde. Aldehydes occur when the C double bond O is on the end carbon, which means that the other atom attached to the carbon is a hydrogen. So this is actually a ketone. And this one is called butanone, or butan-2-one, you could call it. and this is a ketone. So you can see now I've drawn up the equation in structural formulae terms. So CH3, CH2, CHOH, that's this carbon here, CH3 at the end, plus the oxidizing agent, and that gives us CH3, CH2, CO, that's that C double bond over there, CH3 and there's the water molecule. And there you have a general way of writing this um, equation. So it's a little bit more complicated because essentially we have two parts of the molecule now that haven't changed and they are slightly different. So I'm calling this R and this is R dash. So you can see the colors correspond to the R groups. The only thing that's changed, if you look, is this CHOH has changed into CO. So if I just underline that in green there, CHOH has changed to CO. And you can see in the models there how they change. There's the displayed formula for butanone or butan 2 -one. 
and there's the skeletal formula CH3, CH2, C double bond O, CH3. So we'll finish off with the third class of alcohols now, the tertiary alcohols. Just quick check that this is tertiary. The carbon with the hydroxyl group on is directly bonded to three other carbon atoms. So yep, this is tertiary. And the thing to know about this reaction is it isn't possible. You can't oxidize tertiary alcohols in normal laboratory conditions.